All right, I think we should be good by this point now. Hey guys, how's it going? Been a couple days? Yeah, for those who may be just joining us now, I am your host, the one and only Arising Gamer. And we're gonna continue our little playthrough here of, it was The Witch and the Hundred Knight 2. All right. So, I believe I have to start off with, um, with a little confession to our Lord the Hundred Knight here for everyone's sake. Excuse me for the moment. Lord Hundred Knight, it is I, the Rising Gamer. And I must confess, I have sinned on your behalf. To those who do not know what the heck I am talking about, I kind of grinded a lot while we, before, between the last stream and now. And I really upped my game. It's nothing against you, my lord. The game is great. But I want things to be swimming along soon. And let's just say you were in my way. Now, it's not to say it won't be fun. But I believe it's time to get the show going on. And with that, we are going to go back to the the research lab. At least I believe it was a lab. And we are going to... Yep, we are in the branch. We are trying to get the equipment. We are about to take people hostage. And... We are going to... Do some bad things. Whatever that may entail for us. For those who join us, I apologize in advance. Oh, hello. You're here. Alright, and we are continuing on east to the next area. I am not a sinner. I just know how to play the game. That is all. That's all I've ever done. I lost my husband years ago. My little girl is the only thing I have left in this world, so please, please. Oh dear, you're here. Please, there is no need to fear. I've just requested an emergency surgery from the most talented doctor in the Vice Ritter. And I'm about to take that. The most talented doctor? She is a holy Valkyrie like me. A saint that has devoted herself to the Vice Ritter. Her name is Lisa. Uh-oh. Lisa Why do I feel has like never I'm once lost a patient to Hexen syndrome. Your daughter is in good hands. But I, I feel like this is not gonna go well. I don't for have me. any money. I couldn't possibly pay. Don't oh you boy. worry about that. The Vice Ritter does not take any payment for treating the witch disease. Just getting rid of this godforsaken witch is our own. Thank you reward. so much. I knew I could put my faith in you, Miss Holy Valkyrie, my savior. And this is how they, how they easily mind manipulate the the poor savior. and unfortunate. I am not worthy of that title. There is only one person I know who truly deserves to be called savior. The and commander of the Vice Ritter, Lord Theodore. It was Lord his Theodore. wisdom that directed the Vice Ritter to refuse any payment for treating Hexen syndrome. Oh, that's crazy. That wound should have left her bedridden for months, but she's still so devoted to the cause. She's a saint. Hey guys, <laughs> the crash party. Oh, well, hello there. Are you lost? Did you lose your mommy? Oh, here we go. The there mommy is the operator. Um, it's just past here, but it's no place for a little girl like you. Yeah, I'm here tired we go. Tired of this game. <laughs> yep. The charade has ended, and <laughs> we're about to say Mama. hello. What are you doing? Uh, losing our patience for starters. Hi. Wait. That eye on your forehead. The magic power emanating from you. Could you be? 
Hi. <laughs> That's right. Guess this place isn't completely full of idiots who can't face reality. Yet. A witch? How did the Viceritter not know? Because we took them all out. You're welcome. Is it supposed to be this way? Or is it different this time? <laughs> this must be embarrassing for you. If I were you, I would just kill myself right now. Now move. I need to get through that door. Oh, very so. Very, very I will not let you do so. It is my holy duty to defeat awakened witches. And I'm sure it's gonna go swimmingly for you. Just, just don't, don't do it. <laughs> you plan on defeating me with that pathetic body of yours? She doesn't want someone flat chest either. For the good either. of the people, I will meet out justice, even if it costs me my life. I'll devote. That wound will make a grown man double over in pain. You shouldn't even be able to stand. Uh oh. You may be a witch, but you are still young. I promise to end your pain quickly and send you to a peaceful rest. Well, aren't you gracious? <laughs> she was faking it. <laughs> How you can just you really laughing? made her angry. Your nerves should be completely severed. Yeah, should be. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Never helps. <laughs> you really want to know? Yes. No. You're likely just using magic that dulls your sense of pain. What is pain? Oh, that was almost impressive. You're not too far off. She was just bored. The Visa Ritter was able to achieve something similar with alchemy. Uh huh. But tell me, witch, can you keep laughing after your head has been removed from your body? Oh, wow. Kind of cruel, my don't you think? Oh, we're getting to the fight. And I have to step in now. Are you kidding Stay me? Stay back, meddling familiar. I will not show you any mercy if you get in my way. Well, just fine. This is why I grinded. <laughs> mercy? She's underestimating you, Hundred Knight. And of course, my lord, she is making a very terrible mistake. Hundred Knight? Show her oh, what you're made of, Hundred Knight. Take down this pest of a woman and make her scream for mercy. All right, brawls on. Get out the loves. It's gonna be a death. Uh -oh. oh, barrier. Okay. Let's try this with magic. Oh wait, I got rid of that. Ow. Okay, okay. Stop moving. Fine. If you want to fight me, fight the Indians instead. You got the army. You don't want to fight me? You got the crowd. up all my AP. Crap. Alright, 
I'm still smiling. You're just not really that much of a threat to me right now. I'm sorry, is that being cocky does? I think, yeah, yeah. yeah. Deal with that barrier. Okay, I can change it. We're just gonna use magic on her. I don't like it. Okay, so I gotta dodge. There we go. That's the way to do it. Ooh, she's got some big tools. Come on. Gotcha. Try again. I got you for out now. Now. Come on. I got you figured out. Let's 
see? My minions took you out. Took a while, but I finally got down. down. Oh dear. I knew grinding was worth it. was necessary. <laughs> you did great, Hundred Knight. Thank you. I am <sighs> glad I'm greatly appreciated. What happened? A holy Valkyrie lost? Yeah. <laughs> Too familiar. I didn't even have to lift a finger. She was all talk. Uh huh. <sighs> Stop it! Let Lady Gabrielle go! I'll take her place. Yeah, we don't need you. No, you mustn't. Lady Gabrielle, please. You saved my life once. I knew I was destined to use it to save yours one day. Oh, How sentimental. Sorry. That was getting really cheesy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, now that your little chit-chat is over... <laughs> oh, that was easy. It's time for the main event. Follow me, Hundred Knight. Holy crap, that has a look on her face. <laughs> now I'll begin with the vivisection. That was creepy. That was honestly a very, very creepy. Baby. Hmm. What are we doing out here? The front gates of the headquarters. Oh dear. There's so many people. How can I get in? You represent the Holy Knights? Hey, you over there? No cutting. Go to the end of the line. <laughs> Me? Oh no, I wasn't getting in line. No, no, no. That's what they all say. <laughs> That's what they all no, say. No, really. I didn't come to get in line. I have business inside. That's what they Everyone all say. Everyone here has business inside. They've been lined up for hours to get treatment from the Holy Valkyries. I'm not going to let you cut. She's not injured. Treatment from the Holy Valkyries? I want to see. Then get in line, please. When it's your turn, you'll get a pass. Okay. A pass? Oh, will this do? Document of distinguished service. Yay! Uh, are you a Holy Valkyrie? Almost. I... I am so sorry. I'm new. I, I still don't know everyone. Please excuse my rudeness. A hasty. <laughs> oh, no. I'm still just... Holy Valkyrie? Oh crap. Now Molly's got cr Where? worries. Hey you! Where's that Holy Valkyrie? Uh-oh. Um, well, I should be going. Sorry. Run! <laughs> run, child. Run! Yeah, long line citizens on the path to the front gate. Throngs of people with excited faces crowded around. <sighs> that was a close one. Holy Valkyries really are amazing. To see those people waiting in line, so full of hope, it was almost scary. No, it was flat out terrifying because of the fact that they're waiting for you guys. They're like, where, where, where? I'm just glad she didn't notice that I didn't have any stamps on my document. Haha, <laughs> faked it. <laughs> just one more lie, I guess. What else is new around here? I can't be caught up on that now. Mill needs me. Yeah, while we operate in the operating room. Definitely need all the help we can get.
Next. Okay, doctor. Wise in many fields. Uh, um, yeah, I have back pain and... Uh, back pain and... Uh, you don't have to speak, okay? Just let me touch you. Okay, apparently this is uh, rated R for, for um, adults, guys. Um, if you're a kid, you may want to look away. Stable heartbeat. Blood pressure is abnormally high. Blood flow feels slightly restricted. Signs of swelling, jaundice. Nurse, please escort this man to the operating room. He shows signs of neoplasm on the kidney that needs to be removed. Wow, knew yes, that touching. Come Creepy this way. doctor you have here. Next. Lady Lisa, my boy has had a burning fever all night. That's Lady Lisa? Oh, dear. Quiet, please. Come here, child. Y yes ma'am. Uh, uh. <coughs> Respiratory viral infection, likely droplet transmission. This will require isolation. You must be in a lot of pain. You're a very brave boy. You'll be all better if you drink this medicine and rest in the Viceritter Hospital for five days, okay? Okay. Crazy that she knows oh, exactly what okay. to do. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Come on, son. And you too, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next. This is what they got in line for. Amazing. She can diagnose them just by touching them. But I suppose that doesn't really help me find a way to treat witch disease. No, considering she'll freak out the man she touches and realizes she's got the witch's disease. I should get a closer look. Quickly and skillfully. Lady Lisa, this is the last patient in line. A closed fracture on the ulna. I can't yet determine the type. Please hold out your arm. Y yes ma'am. Huh. <laughs> it That's doesn't hurt! Crazy. She couldn't tell it's you it's but she still Th healed it. Thank you. Phew. I managed to finish before the Sermon of Fate. The what now? Thank you for your hard work, Lady Lisa. It was an amazing display, as always. Thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. The Sermon of Fate. Incredible. What is that? Not entail? only can she diagnose patients through touch, she can treat them as well. But how? Magic. Oh, you're that girl from the line. You get Lady Lisa's magic touch too. Oh, I remember you from the gate. Didn't Lisa say that there was nothing wrong with you? Don't you want to go home? What are you talking about? The main event is about to get started. Huh? Again. Something about to happen? A lot more questions than answers here. <sighs> you came all the way out here and you don't even know? Lord no. Theodore's about to do his sermon of fate! Theodore? As in... Commander of the Holy Valkyries, Theodore? Oh, Sermon of here. fate? Oh no. You really don't know! Lord Theodore's gonna bless us with his words from the future. Words from the... I'm sorry, every time I ever hear jokingly stuff like that, words from the future, all I can think of is Team Four Stars DBZ a bridge. I can see the future! And he doesn't speak to us common folk much. Oh, this is a special day. Oh goody, someone who doesn't deal with all folk. I even pretended Truly to be sick leader. just so I could see his face up close. Just so I could see his face. You faked it? Most of us out here in the courtyard are doing the same thing. So it's just a thing. Wow. Really? So you waste everyone's time. Oh, he's here! He's here! Alright, let's see this Theodore. The big deal is. Yeah. 
Yeah, that totally is definitely not the face of a main villain if I never saw one. Oh, Lord Theodore! A smelly farmer. <sighs> He's sleeping. So it is writ in the Book of Ten Thousand Poems. Oh boy. The six-eyed beast opens its mouth at the edge of the wasteland. But all the same, when you listen, an evil emerges. Uh-huh. A night-calling bird, in its high-pitched chirping and four mountains ablaze, doesn't wait for words. Okay. Hmm. I wish all the happiness in the world to each and every one of you. Sure. The sermon that's the sermon of fate. Really? That's it? <laughs> Was that it? See? Even Amalia agrees with me. Yep. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lord Theodore. Oh, that lady. That's an idiot. what you came all the way here for? After you got in that huge line and faked an illness? You said words. I thought it would be a bit more constructive, like a lecture or something. Quit being dance. You just don't understand the beauty of what you just heard. Um, there's no point to the words. I even couldn't understand it, and I've heard a lot of different gaming, you know, passages and words and poems. Forgive me for being rude, but... Do you actually understand what he just said? Yes, please, Smelly Farmer. Why don't you translate for us what that meant? <sighs> Jeez, you got a pretty face, but you're as dumb as a sack of bricks. Of course we don't understand it. Uh, I'm, uh... Listen, Lord Theodore's words are something you take back to your village, and then everyone in town works together to try to solve the mystery. Really? We work sunrise to sunset, and then we gather around the dinner table and have ourselves a drink and try to figure out the words. It's the best part of my day. It's the best part of my day. Until we figure out exactly what he meant, we're gonna keep a drinking. Good Lord. Ugh. Tis really? the sign of a true fool that he would take these holy words as mere hub talk. That's what I thought. But I'm sure he will also love all this foolishness and smile down upon you all. And that's just the kind of man he is. Thank you, know-it-all. Of course, in this day and age, the most popular forms of leisure activities are kinetoscopes and gambling. And I'm sure he's in on the gambling, too. It is not so absurd to believe that we should find entertainment in his sermons as well. In fact, it is possible that he also means this to be entertainment. In addition to water, medicine, and protection from witches, perhaps he intends to supply our lives with merriment. He's brainwashing you, idiots. Oh my, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I must hurry back to the lab and solve this mystery. Lab? If I can just put myself in his magnificent headspace, our thoughts will align and can discern his intent. Interesting. I should go too. Maybe we'll meet Know-It-All again. Well, the foyer. What a shame that your portable communication device is broken. That is truly unfortunate. Because we don't have any spares. Only four exist in this world. Even Lord Theodore himself cannot reproduce them with alchemy. What a terrible thing. What? There's only four? I am sincerely sorry. This is all because of my carelessness. But I have to ask, if you could no longer use this one, would it not have been better to borrow one from another branch? Ah, uh, well, I also wanted to see Lord Theodore speak, so it was a good opportunity. Right. Ah, I see. Yeah, that is perfectly understandable. Sure it is. 
please, come this way. Lord Theodore should be arriving soon. Thank you very much. Wait, you're going to go see Theodore himself? For the witch's disease? You can't tell him about this. With the creepy grave-like thing at the end. Is this an eyeball? That's an eyeball. What is this feeling? It's like I'm drawn to it. It's another witch's eye. If the origin you want of the witch's castle, eye? Stare with one of mommy's eyes. Oh no, Lisa's there. Oh no, just no, no, no. Oh, third dash 64. Thank you for the follow. You're such a great person. Everyone, please follow third dash 64 as well. I will definitely be doing that after this stream once I get everything all set up. Thank you, Third Dash. If you want a oh, country, dear. stare with two of mommy's eyes. What are you doing? If you want the whole world, stare with three of mommy's eyes. That's the Sermon of Faith? Um. Uh, please back away. Lisa learned that nursery rhyme from the eye you saw. The eye Lord taught Theodore. her that rhyme? Or nursery? It's all right, child. Be calm. Yes, my lord. Uh-oh. That mysterious force that so enraptured you is called karma. A relic from an earlier time. Karma? Why does that ring a bell? Legend holds that eye belonged to the most powerful woman in all of Kavala. The holy priestess Rangda. Rangda. Holy Priestess Rangda? Rangda had three eyes, and though her body died, her eyes did not. They are still as lustrous as they were in life to this day. So you're using her eye. Definitely not creepy. With the power of one eye, you could acquire a castle. With two, you could lead a nation. And with three? And with all three, the whole world would be in your hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. I'm sorry, At that, least, that, that was that's a, what the words of this nursery rhyme seem to imply. <laughs> I myself plan to test the validity of the legend by gathering all three of Rangda's eyes and eradicating which disease from this earth. But you're ruling the world. That's kind of just as bad. Eradicate the witch disease. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You think me some starry-eyed fool. Well, you have an eye right there. No, not at all. And I your holy Valkyrie doctor, very loosely clothed lady, really right up behind me. Thank you. I am depending on you. Yes, my lord. Oh, and by the way, for some time now, I felt this huge burden weighing down on me. Uh oh. <laughs> They've got a nice bounce to them, don't they? Particularly perky today. What the hell happened to your personality? You went from serious to <laughs> look at my boobs bounce. Oh my god. Um, you're Lisa, correct? Yep. I'm the commander's cutie, Lisa. Well, I'm confused now. She's like a completely different person. Yeah, that's what's throwing me off. Lisa is a holy Valkyrie. Your superior. The leader of our advanced treatment branch. And very and leader of the loosely clothed branch. She's treated numerous diseases, including, of course, the witch disease. You can learn much from her. Like how to get rid of it? My name is Amelie. I look forward to working with you. Nice to meet you, Amelie Wamelie. Amelie Wamelie. That's a thing now. Amelie Wamelie. Amelie Wamelie. Oh, what's this? Amelie, you're hurt. Here, let me. Huh? 
Abnormal heartbeat. Sweaty palms. What the f- Mydriasis. A slight hyperpenia. There must be a fracture in your ribs. Whenever- So your magic touch makes you go all hardcore serious? Beginning treatment. The pain in my side. It's gone. Oh, right. When Chelka decked you. You had a fractured rib for the longest time. Bravo for walking that, <laughs> for living that long. I'm on a roll today. How do you do that with just a touch? Quite the spell. It's all thanks to Lord Theodore and the power of love. Theodore, you're going to have to translate for that one for me because I have no idea what she's talking about. The power of love? I have spent many long months developing techniques to combine my alchemy and Lisa's treatment. It allows us to use alchemical healing spells. It's the fruit of our love. My spine just had a shiver. Could your power of love be used to treat Hexen syndrome? Hmm, Amelie Wamelie. I know you're not planning on getting between me and the commander. Why? If you even touch him, I'll kill you. Good lord. It's not that at all, honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go with that for now. Just go with that for now. I just wanted to know if there was a cure for witch disease. You mustn't underestimate the witch disease. It's really not that simple. And explain. I see. If I may interrupt, Amelie, could you tell us why you came here today? The reports coming out of Rote Branch have painted a rather complicated picture. The story changes all the time. Ah, gee, I wonder why. We were hoping you could shed some light on the subject. Oh, yes, my lord. Ah. Gave a report of the incident, making sure to leave out Chelka. I was oh, yeah, unable to protect Gabrielle's unit, and I allowed the target to escape. If I were stronger, I could have... No, my child. It is a shame that Isabel escaped, but perhaps it was for the best. What do you mean? Huh? If a killing blow were struck against Isabel without using Zofie's hammer, it may have transformed her into what we call a Venefica. There's a third stage now, besides turning into a witch now. So, I'm going to have to ask the million dollar question. I'll take, what is a Venefica, Alex? Venefica? Do you know of the ruined wasteland known as Avidya? No. I've heard rumors. It's said to be so dangerous, not even seasoned magic beast hunters go there. Yes. It is a hell on Earth. Not one of us could survive even three days in that hellscape. Why? But once, it was a beautiful place, abundant with nature and life. So what triggered it? Until two awakened witches fought over a single mana gland. To the death. For seven days and seven nights, the twin witches battled. And just when they were about to lose their final mode of power, Something terrible happened. When they died, they released an explosive energy that charred all of Avidya in the blink of an eye. The light of a witch is a dangerous thing to snuff out. So, when you kill a witch, they explode is what you're telling me. All that remains is ash and the walking corpses of those witches, unable to maintain their human forms. There's a walking corpse. They are now husks, feral and twisted, cruel parodies of what they once were. Venefica. Then what the heck do I have in, with Isabel? Is that something that happens to all awakened witches? Of that, I am unsure. Oh, good lord. However, oh, good lord. the severity of the threat into? demands that we act as if it is inevitable. I see. Yeah, not looking good. 
now considering I'm with one. This is bad. What if Chelka's experiments on Isabel make her a Venefica? Yeah, we're about to unleash another bomb in My another Lord. branch. What is it? An urgent message from Blau Branch. They've uh -oh. been attacked by a witch. Lady Gabrielle has been seriously injured. Whoopsie. Is Isabel behind this? The transmission was cut off. We don't know all the details. Looks like we didn't get all the guards. It has to be Chelka. I'll go. Without explicit orders, perhaps I should interpret this minor insolence as nothing but a strong sense of duty. Okay. She's lying to us. Uh oh. You're sure? You discovered this by touching her. Yes. She displayed the typical physiological symptoms of lying. Oh, no. I see. Well, I suppose we all have one or two little secrets. I merely hope that it is a secret with good intentions. I'll look into it. If she plans on hurting you, my lord. My lord, I'll kill you. I do appreciate it. But remember that she is one of us. She does not deserve suspicion. Yeah, considering how you're dressed. You're I right, I keep you're right. Of course she doesn't. And of course I keep bringing that up, because it's just that distracting. Alright, let's get back to Chelka now, shall we? The operating room. Hundred Knight, sweat. Are you an idiot? I'm telling you to wipe my sweat. Sorry, I'm new at this. You are so useless! Always getting in the way, dropping the liver, getting tangled in the intestines. <laughs> uh, are you done? Nope. Huh? You're still alive? Jeez, you're as tough as a dung beetle. I looked everywhere. But it seems like the source of magical power is indeed the third eye on the forehead. Okay. Guess I'll just have to dig it out and inspect it more closely. Oh dear. No, don't! <laughs> yeah. Please, not my eye! Your cadaver will be used for important scientific research. You should be proud. Yeah, you're welcome. Hundred Knight, keep her head still. Oh dear. We're doing Are this. Are you incompetent on purpose? Keep this old hag's head still. All right. Good. Stop hurting now me. Keep her eye open. No. Come on. Stop embarrassing yourself. All right. On the count of three. Hundred night. Make sure you've got a good hold. Oh boy. Uh, oh uh, God. This is going to get what? gruesome. Oh! She ripped it out. Oh, <gasps> oh God. <laughs> oh, God. Well, how do you feel? It's not as bad as it sounds, right? She ripped out the bloody eye. <gasps> Uh-oh. <gasps> this is not good. Stop crying now. You're such a drama queen. She doesn't realize what she just did. Oh. Whoa. A feral Isabel. It's a nice picture, though. Got kudos to the art guys. Oh, that's uh -oh. not good. Yeah, uh oh. <laughs> we just created a Venefica. What is this? I've never seen this magic before. Oh, 
You can't use that body that anymore. Incredible power. And she's attracted to it. But I removed the eye from her forehead. The eye is the source of magic power, so how? Oh, good lord. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> I'll worry about that later. This is an extraordinary amount of power, and I know just what to do with it. What do you want to do with it? You'll make a good match for me. Hundred Knight, you don't need to step in. Oh, sure. Take this! <laughs> I might have gone overboard with that one. I don't have much magic left. Oh. What? It didn't even leave a mark. Yeah, that's not good. Damn it! Uh-oh. You're just making her angry. This can't be happening. I only got hit once. Well, she's a lot stronger now. Uh-oh. My power. I'm turning back into Milm. That's not good. Nope. Yeah, definitely not good. Oh, dear. Monster. What? Oh, no. Oh, crap. I gotta kill that thing now. Oh, the gas is... It, it's poisoning the place. Hundred Knight, what's going on here? Where's Milm? Um, she went south. Um, Amali. Um, where do we begin? <coughs> this poison fog. No, is she a Venipika? Yeah, I'm Venipika? guessing that's what happened. <sighs> There's no point talking to you, Mama. Mama. Uh oh. I'm burning! I'm burning! I can't breathe! I remember <gasps> you. Her tongue fell out of her mouth. No! Mama! Mama! This is not good. What? Mama! <laughs> hey, don't cry. We have to get away from here now. We have to go, okay? This girl has witch disease. Yeah, which means she's immune to this. Di witch fog. monster <coughs> killed everyone. My mama. A witch monster? Where did that monster go? She ran outside and she was carrying a girl. Oh. What if she's already dead? Oh, this is not good. Could it be Milm? Yeah, I should have told you. Miss? How come I'm not dead? Is it because I'm a witch, Miss? Would you please? Oh my kill god. Me? I don't want to be a witch. It's okay. Your witch disease can be cured. The Visa Ritter will cure you. Really? Yeah. Yes. Supposedly. Just like me. Here, look. You were a witch too. Yes, but I was cured. So don't she lies. lose hope now. Amali's a great liar. Uh, okay. Amali Wamali. Oh, Lisa's Lisa. here. Oh no. Hundred Knight, get outside! Make sure she doesn't see you! I came to fetch Gabby Wabby. She should still be alive. Who's Gabby? Really? Does that girl have the witch disease? Yes, she does. 
Can I leave her with you? I'm going after Isabel. Of course. I'll begin the treatment immediately. Thank you, Lisa. I'm going to leave you with this nice lady, okay? She's the best doctor in the entire Vice Ritter. I know she can cure you. I'm about to be ask how does she cure them? Okay. She hasn't uh, exactly said thank how. You. Leave everything to me. Milm, I'm coming to save you. Let's see. I want to save real quick. Where? Oh, we gotta go the long way around. Oh, not cool. Not cool. Well, let's just do it. Let's just gain on some stuff on. Get in there. Good lord. Gotcha. Gotta get over there. I'm coming, Milm. Eventually. I just gotta kill a lot of things to get to you. But I'm getting there eventually. Alright, we went west. Now we're gonna go south. Sure, I'm strong enough that these guys are nothing. But the minute I try to fight Isabel, I have like the world's biggest problem. And after all that grinding, it, I felt like an idiot because I couldn't do it. And it's like, oh no, all you have to do is quickly dodge her and 
you can avoid the wind barrier. No one said anything about that earlier. South it is. South, south, south. Let's just go because I'm wasting time. Alright, we're clear. And now we're moving. And we're moving to the grooving and going to the moving. Oh, the misty forest. What is this? The poison, it spread to the forest, the trees, and the animals. Yeah, we may have just scooched the pooch on this one on a bigger scale. I can't believe the entire ecosystem changed so fast. Well, that's what happens when a Venica is involved. Okay, can't be scared now. Oh, I she's have terrified. To do this. Mil needs me. Level 26. Oh. Okay, these are a little stronger. Not good. What the heck are you? Oh, the frog. Oh no, not more bugs. Oh dear. Poison. Crud. This whole place is full of poison. We can do exploring later. I gotta get out of this place. It's gonna be the death of me! Deeper into the contaminated <laughs> misty forest. Uh, Lady Zophie! One of our soldiers has been poisoned! Oh, goody, Zophie's here too. Begin treatment immediately. I'll go after that monster. Yes, ma'am! Uh oh. Whoa. from Isabel's poison? Yeah. Ah! Hello. Bah. That scared me. And that's why I'm scarier. Even the Vice Ritter members wearing protective gear can't avoid Isabel's poison. No, it's kind of like zombie rule. You get please, killed by these things, you'd become Please be them. safe.
Let's see. Um, I mean, I still got plenty of space. But just in case. Don't want to lose anything. I'll just upgrade my stuff, get even stronger, and just plow on through. It's a smart thing, right? Oh, a new petition. I want to talk to her. I can use as a bomb. 2,000 mana. Easy. I got the time bomb, Tachka. That's right, I could get the better stuff with these guys. Um, the Atelier. How many levels does this thing have? Okay, I can... Bottom line is, it can level up quite a bit when it's an epic. There we go. Business as usual. Alright. Not bad. Alright. Back to the contaminated forest. Full of poison. And fun other things. Alright guys, 
Because let's do this. <laughs> Food for my bed. Let's just keep going east. I'll explore later when I can reduce my chances of poison, because that's a problem. Oh, that's 
Okay, that was not that. Oh jeez. No, no. Not good. Come on. So I got better at that. Just when you do. Kill that frog. Alright, keep going. We're definitely getting closer, I think. To where Isabel, or what used to be Isabel, is. Look on the bright side, we have a third eye now. Well, another third eye. But it's a ugly place no matter what. No justification. Oh dear. Mighty Sophie! The townspeople are under attack! Do not falter. The first to hesitate are the first to die. And he, and he hesitated. Damn it! Are you okay? It's a scratch. More importantly, why are you here? Well, um, we're chasing the thing. We got and a report at HQ about a witch attack on Blau Branch, so I came here as fast as I could. From HQ? Then you have information. Tell me. This poison fog must be Isabel's. Has she become a Venefica? Venefica? I'm not sure. I didn't see her. But Lord Theodore seems to think so. Lord Theodore? I don't remember any premonitions of this. Uh-oh. All right, soldier. Tell me everything you know. 
When we reached the target destination, the only thing we found was what was left of Gabrielle's unit. No sign of you or Isabel. This was the scene before us. It's my fault Isabel got away. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Here we go. And what happened after? Blaubranch was attacked by Isabel. The attack put Gabrielle in critical condition. I came here in pursuit. I see. Amelie, dismissed. Your job here is done. Uh-oh. What? You can't win against a feral witch. I'd love to take her out myself, but now I have to wait for her to burn out. Burn out? What happens when she burns out, per se? If Isabel is a Venefica, then sooner or later her body's not going to be able to handle the magic storm inside her, and she'll die. And what happens? Fortunately for us, the target is holed up at the edge of the cliff just past this town. If we establish a defensive perimeter here, we can keep her contained until she burns out. We won't have to initiate any offensives. We just fortify this position and outlast her. No, you can't! No, I mean a civilian was taken hostage! A civilian? Yeah. Yes. We have to do everything we can to save her! No, that intel doesn't change my strategy. Uh-oh. Why? Conflict of interests. It's an unfortunate situation, but odds are that civilian is already dead. If Isabel herself didn't kill her, the poison did. Either that or she's been driven insane. I will not risk the lives of good soldiers on such a slim chance of success. Then I'll go on my own. Yeah, this she's not is gonna my you. battlefield, Amelie. You will do what you are ordered to do. No, this is my choice. I have to save her. That's the kind uh -oh. of thinking that gets people killed. She's getting mad. Fine, I understand. That's not the face of a soldier who understands. What is it the face of? Because you're knight, about to throw me in I need harm's a favor. way. Oh, come on. Can you help me save Milm? It's not because I'm too scared to do it on my own. It's just that we have a higher chance of saving Milm if we do it together, right? You want me to take care of the problem. Sorry, that's a bad lie. No point in pretending to be brave. I just know I can't do it on my own. I'm honestly so scared my knees are shaking. Yeah. I know that Zofie is right. I can't do this. I'm not strong enough. But still, well, that's why I'm here. I have to save Milm, no matter what. If I lose her, I'll truly be alone. No and one wants to be alone. That's the scariest thing I could imagine. No one ever wants to be alone. So please, come with me. Oh really? I could deny her right here, question her. Ah, uh, the things of being a nice Good. hundred night. I thought you might say that. It makes my life Thank difficult. Thank you, hundred night. I know we can do it somehow. Now let's go, but be careful. We don't want Zofie to see us. Or eavesdrop, because she could be just around the tree. Let's see. I still got plenty of room in my stomach. A rare sword. Rare sword. Nothing epic. Let's see. She said it was just past the town on the cliff, so... Take a quick look at the map and oh, wrong button. Yeah, there definitely should at least be another magma gland. Usually it's once every two steps. So if it's not here, it's gonna be right there. Should be easy enough to find one. Whoa! Holy crap, I 
blew myself up. Okay, not wise move on my part. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of things just to make up for it. I'm sure that corner is going to lead to a really strong monster, and I'm not powerful enough to deal with said strong monster. At least I learned a lesson. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> 
be a magna gland in this next zone if not I really wish I retreated yep called it magna glands here perfect I'll use this place as my next breeding ground for the next week's stream. That's gonna be bad for me. Passive skill, I forgot to boost that. Alright. Good. It's gonna make me even stronger. Alright, let's return to Durga Castle. Because I am not doing this and losing all this stuff.
just keep doing that. It's a cheap glitch, but I like it. It does help my life. You don't understand. I need all the antidotes I can get for this place. Okay, nothing special about those, so I can just use them as sacrificial pawns and boost the other weapons. among them. Let's see, I did see the charms. Let's see what they're about. Yeah, they're not good. Oh no, I don't need the petition. Change some of my Yeah, I gotta play in mana. Should definitely help me out for now. Whew, boy, it's been a long night. Ah, 
Okay. Should be ready for the next section then. So, without further ado, let's go see how feral Isabel is. Poison fog. Milm! I'm coming for you, Milm! She's just left alone. I was about to say trap. Oh, hello. Get a Hi, hold Isabel. of yourself! Uh-oh. You idiot. I thought I told you to stand down. <sighs> Sophie? Um, I... I'll buy us some time. Go grab the girl, and then the both of you get out of here. What? You have to move. No time to think. You have to trust your instincts now. Y yes, ma'am. Oh, here we go. We got a fight here. Face me, witch. I am your opponent. <laughs> Holy crud. Take this! We got two brawlers going no. on. S Sissy? Ooh, you're still here. I guess Sophie was not enough. No chance in hell. Sophie! Whoa! She got <sighs> clocked. I have to protect Milm. You do that, girl. <sighs> oh, of course you did. And now here I am. Your most Under hated night. foe. Please save Milm. The things I do for people. <laughs> Yourself. You're dealing with the Hundred Knight. Prepare to for death. I hope. Uh oh. Spells? No fair. Take a bomb man. Boom! Love my bombs. Uh-oh. Ow, 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 ow. That was not... Not smart. Not smart on my part. Ow. Oh, crap. Poison 2. Hit and run, hit and run. Boom! <laughs> uh oh. Come on. Ow. Oh, it's tar. Oh, boy. Uh 
Boom. Take a bomb. Eat the bomb. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, Oh, you son of a... Oh! Thank God that was close. Thanks, I need the reboot. Oh dear, oh dear, ow, ow, ow. Come on. Gotta learn to run backwards. Eat the bomb. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> Ow. Very rude, lady. Much better fight. <laughs> that was a definitely a lot better fight than the other one. Whew. Even when you grind, they're hard. <laughs> I hope you're done now, child. Because I have fed up with my patience for you. The leech? Oh, the parasite, I mean. Ma'am. <sighs> so, wait. That thing had the, th the thing suck in its power, but it still was out of control. That's insane. No. You can't. Ma'am. Ma'am. The Witch and the Vena Fica. End. Whew. Do you want to save? Yes, please. Oops. Durga Castle Bedroom. No, ma'am! Please! Open your eyes! You know, she's still probably just sick or tired. You can cut it out, Molly. Honey, I know how you feel. But Milm is... Why? Why? Because you kept thinking oh, you could God. do everything yourself. This is all her fault! She made Isabel go feral! I'll never forgive her for this! Calm down, dearie. If this is what happened to Milne, Chelka must be... 
The girl's been through so much. What with Chelka in her body and all. What? What's it doing? It's pouring the energy into her? Wait! Amelie, honey! Uh-oh. Chalka's back. What's going on? Uh... She's breathing! All that energy went into her. Milm? What happened to Milm? Get off me, pervert. <laughs> Idiot Milm. She breathes in a ton of that poison at close range. Can't you use your magic to flush out the poison or something? Milm took in too much poison. She's too far gone now, even for my magic. Bring me mana flowers. As many as you can get your hands on. Okay. I need more mana to heal her. Oh, I have a candied mana flower. Beat it to me. Here you go. Not enough. Oh, don't you worry, honey. Plenty more where that came from. Really? Oh, dear. <laughs> Her cheeks were bulging. Jeez, how many were you hiding on you? You'd be surprised what a bird can Obnoxious hold. Noxious cow. Find a way to get rid of the poison. If we can't figure out how to do it, it won't matter how much mana I get. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't know when I'll turn back into Milm. But if I do... I'm not going to make it. Uh-oh. Do something about the poison. Well, I'm still conscious. Okay, I'll try to mix up an antidote. You know how to do that? You do? After we left the village, Milm would get sick fairly often. A lot of upset stomachs. But my father taught me how to make a kind of medicine that really helped us out. Milm used to hate it because it was so bitter. But I would use mana flower nectar to sweeten it. I don't give a rat's ass what you do. Just do it quick. Wait huh. here. I'll gather the ingredients. It shouldn't take me more than three days. Oh, dear. Three days? Are you serious? How in the hell did you even live this long? It's really hard to find all of the ingredients. Fine, girl, what do you need? I need crushed skunk vine fruit, a wormwood leaf, a forked slug, a red-headed centipede, two sewer rats, and the urine of a Tuesday frog. I see. Just a moment. So, how about it? I got everything right here. It's good to keep things around. Wait a second. You had this the entire time? You're quite the collector. What's going on in there? A queen never reveals her secrets. Anyway, hurry up and get to mixing. Oh boy. Right. I'll be right back. That bird has everything. No kidding. Sorry for the wait. Chelka, are you still alive? Well, she's blinking. I nearly lost consciousness. Three different times, you know. Sorry, sorry. I'll give it to you now. Stop! That's quite the smell. Oh, God. <laughs> How do you feel, Chelka? Nope. Didn't work. 
Oh, jeez. No way. It worked for Milm. Does this antidote not work against a Benefica's poison? Oh, boy. We're in a oh, pickle. no. What are we gonna do? I blame myself. I shouldn't have depended on you, idiots. You're the one who ripped out the eyeball. Wait! You need to rest! Move! I'm just going to the lab in the basement. The basement? What are you gonna do down there? I remember seeing research notes. Something about a mushroom that's effective against every poison. Oh, really? What a coincidence. A mushroom? Do you mean spirit mushrooms? You've heard of it, Turkey? Uh-huh. A long time ago, when I was a traveling act, I heard stories in the northern countries about a mushroom that cures all diseases. Really? It's a rare mushroom that grows on holy trees in frozen <laughs> climates. You find one on a thousand-year-old tree, and it's supposed to work on anything. Some even grow on ten-thousand-year-old holy trees, and those cure anything, sure as the wind blows. Got to be something in the sack. Problem? Of course, there is one teeny little problem. Those mushrooms have spirits inside of them, and they're awfully ambulatory for mushrooms. Okay. But I don't know if I buy all that. I mean, spirits? Really? And a mushroom? Hey, wait! Man, she's Where are you running off to? It. Well, there she goes. I swear, when it comes to Milm, that girl would move mountains. It's a nice hat. Honey Knight, I'm sorry, sweetie, but would you go with her? I'm Honey Knight. Our little Amelie is heading straight into territory owned by an awakened witch called Prim. Oh, no, not another one. Prim is the most powerful witch I've ever seen. Not even the Vice Ritter has a chance against her when she's in a mood. Oh, Her great. turf's a death trap. Not a single soldier has made it out of there alive. And she's a soldier. Well, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Amelie is a walking disaster. If you're not with her, she'll get herself killed. Again. I'll look after Chelka, and you look after Amelie. Wait. Take this with you. What is it? Thank you. Took the invisibility cloak from Chelka. Makes the wear invisible. It could, you could pull a lot of pranks with this thing. Not only is it cute, it's perfect for stealth. Do your best, Hundred Knight. Part 2, Chapter 4. The, the Witch, Witch and, and the, the Cure. cure. All right, well, that's going to end it on this note here, guys. Thanks for everyone who stopped by. And please, everyone, would you please follow 3rd-64 as well? Thank you for that follow, and we're going to return that favor as well. Until next time, guys, a rising gamer here. See you uh, tomorrow for a continuation of Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. Otherwise, see you next Saturday for another episode of The Witch and the Hundred Night 2.